I definitely want to cover is how a lot of preppers are learning and teaching themselves the wrong squad tactics. While getting professional tactical training is an absolute must, you need to realize that some of that training is not designed for a post-collapse scenario. Most military training is designed for pitched battles and winning wars by advancing the fight. Those tactics are great if you are ordered to take a hillside during a war, but as a soldier if you get shot in the melee, there's likely a medic nearby who will call in a rescue chopper to transport you to the nearest forward operating base with the latest and greatest medical technology for treating battlefield wounds. There are no hospitals after the grid comes down and you'll probably never make it to the nearest doctor. Getting shot, even a minor wound, is life threatening, especially if it gets infected. You need to avoid shootouts like the plague. Your tactics should be based on guerrilla warfare. If bullets start to fly, forget winning. Your squad's only objective should be to retreat by bounding under heavy cover fire like we are demonstrating here. One person provides cover fire while the second person retreats a short distance to cover. Then the second person provides cover fire for the first person while he retreats and finds cover further down the trail. You continue this process until you are out of range of your attackers. Every engagement in a post-collapse environment should be handled exactly this way, by immediately disengaging as quickly as possible and retreating. At that point, you can rally up and decide whether or not to set your own ambush for your pursuers. Make them come to you. This philosophy doesn't make you a coward. It makes you smart and it will keep you alive. If you absolutely must engage an enemy, then make sure it is on your own terms. Get back to your retreat, get the women and children and any other non-combatants to safety, and then quickly figure out a game plan to deal with the threat. Night vision optics and suppressors are absolute game changers in this department, and I would highly recommend outfitting your squad and training with both. Again, if you must engage, use guerrilla tactics, hit the enemy quickly from a distance, and retreat just as quickly. But if at all possible, avoid gunfights like the plague. Forget all the Rambo crap. You are not Travis Haley. Just because you watched the Magpul tactical carbine DVDs and bought all the same tactical gear he's using. Never try and win a pitched battle. It isn't worth it if valuable members of your team or loved ones are killed over no real practical objective other than killing the guy that took a pot shot at you.